I would not even sell this guy for $10,000. Hey, what's up guys? It's Austin here and I hope you're having a great day. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the holdback Het Monsoons I have from the 2020 season. And before we get into that, huge shout out to Flat Mountain Pythons. Thank you so much for the really cool shirt. And they're definitely not slacking on the back. So go and check them out and let's go and see these really cool Het Monsoons that are also possible Het for Pie. So all the Het Monsoons you're going to see are produced by this male, which is right here. This is a special double Het for Monsoon Pied. And you can just see he looks nothing like a normal special. He's really dark and the pattern's just super whacked out. And he's actually breeding another special double Het Monsoon Pied. So really hoping to hit some Monsoon Pieds here. It's going to be a world's first and as you can tell, they're both locked. So really excited about this pairing. Don't know what it's going to look like. Comment down below what you think the monsoon pie is going to look like and let's get right into the babies. So this first girl right here is a special possible double head for monsoon pie and she has some really good markers for both. She has all this connecting pattern over here and it's really clean which is coming from the possible head pie and then the really wackiness in the pattern and that really cool head pattern is all from the head monsoon. Head monsoon tends to give really nice head stamps and just adds all this wackiness and a lot of dots on the dorsal. So this girl has that and the overall color of her is a lot darker than your normal special. Het Monsoon tends to make the animals a lot darker and I'll show you more right after this. Let's just go check her belly real quick to see if there's any Het Pied markers and it looks like we have somewhat of a ringer right over there. So she does look like she's going to prove out for Het Pied and Het for Monsoon. Can't wait till she gets bigger and let's move on to the next snake. This next girl right here is also a special possible double Het for Monsoon Pied. This girl doesn't have as many Het Pied markers as the last one. She does have some really nice Het Monsoon markers. First we'll start off with that head stamp. Really wacky head stamp for a special. And then we have all these really nice circles going down the back and just some overall wacky pattern. And of course we have that really darkness throughout which is a really good Het Monsoon marker so I definitely would not be surprised if she proved out for Het Monsoon. But for Het Pied I'm not too sure. If you look at her belly, she doesn't really have any tracks or connecting pattern. So I'm definitely going to be holding her back just because I think she's Het Monsoon. But I would be very surprised if she proved out Het for Pied. This feisty girl right here is a special spider, possible double Het for Monsoon Pied. And this girl has markers for both. Right away you could just notice this really wacky pattern that looks nothing like all the other special spiders I've seen. And of course, she has all these really nice darker tones. At the belly, we have all these really nice oranges and yellows, which I definitely think is going to be a Het Pied marker for her. She doesn't really like to cooperate, but she has somewhat of a ringer right there, which is just super cool. And of course, all that pattern being super wacky, definitely think it's going to prove out to be Het Monsoon. And if she could be nice enough to show us her head, she already struck at me a few times getting her out. Hopefully she cooperates. But right there, we have a really wacky head stamp. It's just a dot that almost looks like a V another dot behind it but really different from what we're used to seeing in the special spiders and a lot of people do not like the spider gene because of the head wobble but this girl actually does not have one and I definitely think spiders gonna bring a big change to the monsoon pattern the monsoon such an overpowering morph just like the spider is and spider did a lot of freeway that we were not expecting so I definitely think it's gonna be a trick card in the monsoon game this girl right here is a special pinstripe possible double het for monsoon and pied and right away you can see she has this really nice dorsal pattern that I've never seen before and a special pinstripe so I'm definitely thinking that's from the het monsoon influence but I do think there is some het pied influence in this as well we have all this chaining along the sides here and it's a really clean dorsal stripe towards the bottom if you look really close at her head we do have somewhat of a head pattern usually pinstripe tends to wash out the head pattern but we do have a couple of dots right over there and <laughs> she might strike at me so I don't want to get my finger you're too close there. So I'm definitely thinking this girl's gonna prove out for Het Monsoon. Hopefully for Het Pied as well. Let's just check her belly to see if she has any other ringers or anything. And it doesn't look like it, but we do have all this really nice flecking that I usually do not see inside of the pinstripe specials. So another nice marker, which I'm thinking is from the Het Monsoon. So fingers crossed this girl can also prove out for Het Pied, but I think it's pretty safe to say this is a pinstripe special Het Monsoon. This girl right here is a pinstripe possible double het monsoon pied and right away you can notice this girl is just really dark and that was a really nice indicator for me and then she has all this really nice wacky pattern throughout. There's no other jeans in here except for the pinstripe, the possible head for monsoon and possible head for pied and she just has a really wacky pattern so 
Definitely a good reason to hold her back, especially with that hit monsoon in the mix. But she also has this really cool ringer right here. Don't know how well it's going to come pick up on the camera, but she's got some really nice oranges and even some really cool white flecking inside of the belly there. So definitely think she's going to prove out Het for Pied. But I've seen a lot of pinstripe Het Pieds and none of them with this wacky pattern. So pretty safe to say she'll prove out for both. And I'm really happy that this girl does not have any of the bell complex in it because it seems that most of the monsoons being made are either special, Mojave, or something like that but to get it without the special and the Mojave inside of the pied is really important because special pieds, Mojave pieds, and most of the bell complex tends to be a really high white pied. And if the monsoon pied really makes the pattern cool, I, I want to show as much pattern as possible. So I'm really trying to get those monsoon pieds without the special, without the Mojave, or anything in the bell complex. This girl right here is a lesser possible double head monsoon pied and like I said before I don't want to get the bell complex into the pieds especially the lesser because a lesser pied is an all white snake so I really just want to hold back this girl for the head monsoon inside of her and right away you can just see how wacky her pattern is we're left with all these little blemishes inside and just throughout just wacky banding we have these hooks and then dots on the dorsal just like all the other head monsoons so pretty safe to say she's gonna prove out head monsoon comment down below if you think any of the snakes that I said are gonna prove out are not going to prove out and comment why below. There's definitely something more going on than just the Het Monsoon markers. I believe it is a co-dominant and I hope this video can go and convince you the same because just the wackiness inside of this lesser looks nothing like any other Het can do to just the lesser. So comment down below what your thoughts are and let's move on to the next snake. This girl right here is a phantom possible double Het Monsoon Pied and right away the first thing I notice on this girl is this really nice almost full dorsal stripe that is really connected all the way towards the end of the tail, which if you guys watched my Het Pied marker video, you know that's a great marker for Het Pied. And then of course we have all this really wacky pattern along the back. If you look, we even have some raised pattern along the sides, which also tends to be a Het Monsoon marker that we have noticed at Mutation Creation. And of course, like the Mojaves, the Phantoms really wash out the head and we're left with just this really nice dot in the head. We really don't get that Het Monsoon head stamp with the Mojaves and the darker morphs just because the head's washed out, but you can definitely see the influence on the side pattern. So fingers crossed this girl can prove out for both. Let's just check the belly real quick to see if we have any ringers or anything. No ringers, but it does look like we have Het Pied tracks. So I wouldn't be surprised if she proved out for Het Monsoon and for Het Pied. This girl right here is a special lesser possible double het monsoon pied, but she's also possible pinstripe, spider, and pastel. But since she doesn't have a wobble, I'm pretty sure there's no spider in her. But right away, we have this really nice blushing at the top of the head. So I do think there's pastel in there. And if you look really closely, you can see somewhat of a little bit of a head stamp. It's a little bit bluish or almost lavender. It's really hard to see without a black light. Sadly, I left my black light at Mutation Creation, but you can still see a faint pattern along the dorsal. And trust me, it's super wacky and it even bleeds down down to the belly in some places which is just super cool. I'll definitely do an update and show all the possible Het Monsoons I have that are white under a black light in another video so stay tuned for that. This is the first male I'm going to show you guys today and he's super cool. This is a crystal or a Mojave special pinstripe spider possible pastel. It's a little hard to tell if there's pastel in there. But with the head being so dark, I'm going to say there's not. Right away in this guy, you can notice it has this really nice dorsal stripe going all the way back. And it has a really nice wacky pattern throughout. So I'm not 100% sure if this one's going to prove out head for Monsoon. But I have a little bit of a hunch it will. And then if you look at her tail, or his tail, you can notice that there's two ringers. And they're both really cool. So pretty safe to say that he is going to prove out for head pied. But I've never really seen a spinner crystal with a pattern quite like this. With all that messy pattern going on in the dorsal just really wacky and something told me to hold it back so I'm gonna listen to my gut instinct and see what happens with this guy in the future so I saved my two favorite possible Het Monsoons for last for you guys so let's check them out right now first off right here this is my male special possible double Het Monsoon pied and this guy is just insane if you look at his head right there he has this really nice cross head stamp with these two dots on the back of it and just a super crazy intricate pattern he has all these really nice do he has all these really nice donut holes along his dorsal stripe and it's a really wacky pattern throughout his whole body and of course 
He has a really cool ringer on his belly, so I definitely think he's going to prove out both Hemp Monsoon and Hemp Pied. And even though I already have one of these, I would not even sell this guy for $10,000. He's just so cool. I really like the cross on the head, the ringer, and just his overall pattern and look. I'm definitely going to be producing some really cool Monsoons with this guy in the future. And I did save the best for last, so let's go check her out right now. So if I haven't yet changed your mind that Het Monsoon may be a co-dominant morph, this might be the one to do it. Right here I have a normal possible double Het for Monsoon and Pied, and right away you can just see how wacky the pattern is on this girl. She has a lot of Het markers for Monsoon, you have all these nice little holes in the top, banding with some really wacky pattern, some floating pattern over here, and then we also have some really cool Het Pied markers. We have this banding all the way here of all the pattern right there. We have a really nice dorsal stripe which is almost goes back halfway up the snake and then of course we have some really cool het pied markers right there and we even have this really nice speckling that you're seeing on the belly like we've seen on some of the other het monsoons she even has this really nice het monsoon head stamp right there but it's definitely not as crazy as it looks when you add other jeans into it especially special but you could definitely see the double het influence. To me, the het monsoon really made a big difference to the snake and changed it completely. I definitely was not expecting this, but even at Mutation Creation, we hatched a couple normal possible het monsoons, and they have similar patterns with really dark colors, so it's definitely being very consistent in the gene. Of course, I'm gonna be making some more this year, and hopefully the monsoon pie is over there, so stay tuned for more videos. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.